Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we'll talk about how to commute locally in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, or in Malaysia itself. So as you can see, I have with me the Touch and Go card, where it's just like a metro card that you use in India, but this has more benefits. Like you can pay toll gate passes from this, and you can pay for parking, and you can use your metro with this Touch and Go card, and you can also use your local buses in Malaysia. So we're going to speak about this touch and go card, how to get this touch and go card, where can you find this once you land in Kuala Lumpur. I'm going to explain all of these things one by one. So please, my only request would be to watch this video till the end, because if you do not watch it, the video till the end, you will not gain maximum information out of this video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So once you land in Kuala Lumpur, you have a lot of options, like you have taxis, you have Uber, uh, you have, uh, I forgot, you have Bolt, you have Grab, and you have a lot of options in uh, Kuala Lumpur to use. And one of the best and the cheapest options, if you ask me, is this Touch and Go Metro card. So you can see here, this is, this is the cover and this is the card itself. So this is valid from, valid till 7.30, that is 2.30. 7th uh, September of 2030 this is valid till then so what is the advantage of this card if you ask me uh, like I said in the beginning of this video you can commute because metro connectivity is very good whether it's LRT MRT or any kind of train connectivity in Kuala Lumpur is very good it is end to end so when I traveled from Bukit Bintang to Zoo Negara I almost reached till Zoo Negara through metro I didn't have to face any difficulty and after I get down from the, after I got down from the metro I used the bus same again, I used the bus by uh, swiping this touch and go card and it was very very convenient for me. So you have a lot of options but the cheapest option in my opinion is to use this touch and go card in Malaysia. So how do you, step number one, how do you or where do you find this or how do you get this? So once you come from airport to KL Central, so if you come via um, express express ticket from Kuala Lumpur uh, airport or if you come through KLA to uh, KLA T1 or T2 if you come through bus they are going to drop you to KL Central so your question next question would be how do I come from KL Central uh, to the city right so once you go to KL Central you have to go to NU Central Mall which is inside KL Central so once you go to the mall in the second floor as you can see on my screen you will find this touch and go counter it is very very easy to find once you go to second floor if you ask for anyone where is this touch and go counter you will be able to find it and they will guide you perfectly so once you go to this touch and go counter like you see on my screen there are two types of machines the first machine is to buy your card and also top up or to report any issues so it is very self straightforward and very self explanatory like you can see like you can see on my screen and the second machine is dedicated towards topping up your card so there's no human intervention required anywhere you can pay by your credit card or you can pay by your cash that is Malaysian ringgits it is totally it is totally up to you and this is very very convenient no human intervention is required like I said everything is automated so it is very easy to get your touch and go card guys so once you've got a touch and go card it will there'll be a certain fee of activation the cost of this touch and go card everything i'll link it in the description below because i recharged it for 50 ringgits 10 ringgits would be the charge for the card and 50 ringgits is was my recharge the exact price i'll try to link it in the description below uh, i'll try to take a snap of uh, my credit card because i paid through paid through my credit card it costed me roughly around some 627 rupees altogether for 60 ringgits i'll try to uh, link it in the description below so once you get this touch and go card you can commute anywhere within Malaysia guys so uh, taxis are cheaper but it is not as cheap as uh, using a metro using a monorail or a lower load transmission uh, LRT MRT or any kind of train and you can also use the buses in Kuala Lumpur bus connectivity is very good but you don't have to use bus or taxi I roamed entire Kuala Lumpur through this touch and go card using bus and metros and I use this in Malacca as well. I'd been to Malacca. There I, I was there for two days and there also use this touch and go card. So this touch and go card comes in very, very handy if you're in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. And uh, you can, like I said, you can use it anywhere. And topping up is also very easy. I didn't have the mobile application to top up this touch and go card. There is a mobile application which locals use to top up this uh, particular uh, metro card, like how we have for Paytm. In Paytm, uh, we can recharge our metro cards. So similarly, they have uh, something uh, like uh, like an app touch and go app where you can recharge minimum of 20 ringgits I think and sitting at your home you can just enter your card number which is like you can see the serial number here and you can recharge this card 
so this i have already come back from kuala lumpur so this card is of no use to me if someone is if someone is in bangalore and going to kuala lumpur and need this card uh, please do uh, dm me on instagram follow me and then dm me on instagram i'll try to give this card to you because i have already been to malaysia 3 times and i'm not going to be i'm not going back to malaysia again unless if there is some greatest monument like a world's tallest building or something that is built outside of uh, the existing building so Uh, this was all the information that I had for you guys about this Touch and Go card. Like I said, to buy this Touch and Go card, you have to go to Bukit Bintang. Sorry, you have to go to KL Central and go to NU Central Mall, and there you'll be able to find this Touch and Go card. I don't know if there are any other uh, centers of Touch and Go within uh, Kuala Lumpur. I never tried this, so just go to uh, NU Central Mall and get this, which is in KL Central. So once you take this to your hotel, travel to this itself because there's no point in again spending for taxis. You can straight away. Use this card to go back, uh, go back to your hotel uh, through MRT or LRT or bus transportation. So try to save money when you are uh, when you are on trips and try not to use taxis or you know uh, try not to come in packages through tour companies or try not to uh, not to use uh, the local app taxis as well. Try to use local transport just how the locals use them. So you will by using this you will not only going to save a lot of money but you will understand a lot of things about the local city as well. That's just my opinion, guys. I mean the rest is left to you, but this is just my opinion. So if you have any doubts, uh, do follow me and then ping me on Instagram for immediate response or. comment in the comment section i'll try to respond to you guys as soon as possible so i hope this video was very very informative uh, please do watch my channel uh, i'll try to upload more informative videos like this i'll catch you guys in my next video